gliders, okay, also known as engineless airplanes. They have to be brought into the sky by another airplane with an engine. And today I had a chance to ride in one. While I was waiting my turn, I saw some other gliders land. And I don't want this to be another boring video like the last one. So while you sit back and relax and enjoy some videos of some planes landing, I will explain how a glider works. I mean Olivia will explain how it works. When a glider is ready the wings will be leveled out with the help of a wing runner. This is a person on the tip of the wing that will help keep the wings level just at the beginning of takeoff. The glider get lift before the airplane because it's much lighter. The glider gets lift because of its teardrop shaped wings. As air goes over the round top part of the wing it takes longer. And when air goes under the, the wing it is faster because the bottom of the wing is flat, causing the glider to lift. When at a high enough altitude, someone will pull the yellow lever detaching the rope from the glider and now the glider is free. The glider now has only about 10 to 30 minutes of flight depending on wind pockets and how high they are. Once the glider ready to land at final, they will open the air brake. Now these aren't any types of air brakes, these are so weird I can only show you a picture. Okay thank you for letting me waste your time and back to Rob. Thank you, Olivia, and now for the good stuff, the glider ride. Smooth takeoff. And now for the butter. Air brakes are out and I'm ready to land. And then as I was leaving I saw one of my friends landing. Rate his landing in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.